Oh Hi, I'm Misha Prada. And I am Chelsea Rendon, and I'm introducing Mish, my co star from Vita on Stars. Just got renewed for season three. That's what we're gonna celebrate. celebrate. This is why I'm celebrating with tacos. To my favorite number one spot in LA, and I've been to a lot of fucking taco spots. Yeah. Number one spot, Tacos Don Cuco, right here off of Federley and Whittier in East LA. It's actually owned by people from my alma mater from Montebello High School, so I'm super proud to be able to say it's bomb and sh show it to all you guys. Tijuana tacos, oh. estilo Tijuana. But yeah, so they have adobada, they have pollo, they have asada, and they have chorizo, and they have like vampiros and mulitas and tortas and Ooh. all that good shit. It smells amazing. So I'm, <laughs> I'm like I'm in. And this is like one of the only places that actually has adobada in LA. Places say they have adobada, but it's really al pastor. This is real adobada. Sí, la adobada es es carne de puerco con puro chile, puro adobo, y el pastor trae cebolla en medio, y es el adobo es un poco más claro. Ese se se es muy tradicional en en Guadalajara. Aquí es en Tijuana es adobada. Yo soy Jesús, soy el taquero de tacos con cuco en el este de Los Ángeles, de Tijuana para el mundo. El estilo Tijuana es tacos de asada al carbón, pollo, chorizo, adobada, la tortilla hecha a mano, quesadillas, mulas y tortas. Es el estilo Tijuana, original. Desde los 14 años yo hago tacos en Tijuana, ahorita tengo 32, y pues la experiencia hace que vente la salsita así. ¿Qué tal si voy a probar primero? Adobada. Adobada. No, 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 no. sitting with us. Why did you bring us here? Because this is the best tacos in LA, period. Best tacos in LA, bet, period. Bet, bet. I was betting someone on Instagram Live a little while ago. They're like, oh, this place, that place. And I was like, bet. Oh my God, it is. Right? It's so good. Like the, what do you think about the adobada? Oh my God. It's really good. The tortillas, That's what the it mano, is. I'm like, oh, I can't. Well, we have a, the tortilla. Are we allowed to share the news of season three? Mm -hmm. Just dropped. How does how do y'all feel about that news? I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I love about this time around is that we we really didn't know if we were gonna get it, and seeing people really show up to support the show was so beautiful because it doesn't feel like it's just for us. It feels like we all did it it's together. A, yeah. The power of community, right? That the show goes beyond now the actors mm -hmm. and you know the show itself. But the third season shows us what happens when a show speaks to a community. It's a beautiful story, but it can be clicked out and put anywhere, and it works because the core of it is family. Mm -hmm. Whether you're talking about the sisters, where you're talking about the Sanchez siblings, where you're talking about Eddie and the wife, you know what I'm saying? Like it's all family, and that's the beautiful thing about it. It's family, and it's also the the sticky stuff that that comes from dealing with right, family that has yet to be defined, right? Because part of what I appreciate it as a viewer and not just as a fan of the show, as someone who's identified as queer, butch, Latinx, all of these things, right? The news yeah. is that I appreciate the the bodies that we see, you know, the actors, all the different bodies, right? so all the things that you said that we don't have to explain so much with the chile sauce or you know certain placement, but on the on the other level, mm. as far as I can put it. With the queerness, with the body positivity, with the fact that like Emma's character doesn't identify as anything, you know, when it comes to her sexuality, and, yeah. you know, and it's those things that need to be talked about, which, especially in the Latino community, have been hush hushed. If people don't want to talk about it, oh, if he's gay, no, 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 we're not talking about it. Yeah. Your tío just lives by himself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like those things have happened for years and generations. Yeah. And now, like um, me, said that somebody said that they came out to their parents mm -hmm. or something about with oh, the wow. show, right? Yeah, after watching the show. Well, they had come out to their parent, their mom, and her mom just kind of ignored it, which was like kind of weird. Like she didn't, she didn't, she still loved her and was really nice, but she was just like kind of refused to let it sink in. Which I feel like it was a very Latino mom thing. <laughs> we like, 
So anyways, your tia is having a party and you're like, mom, I just came out to you. I just told you something really important. Yeah, like really important and they're just like, that's great, honey. So anyways, um, <laughs> and um, is that's how it is. Um, it's LA, baby. But yeah, and she said that she watched it and she realized that she wanted to watch it with her mom and after she watched it with her mom they actually had a conversation about it and it was just you know it, she said it wasn't it didn't change who she was or you know the way that she chose to identify but it just kind of made it easier to kind of express her it like opens generation. a window if it doesn't open a door it opens yeah. a window you know? That's beautiful, yeah. How does Emma feel about Fumila? Because we see Emma eat a lot in the show. You are I think we see you more. Eat, we see Emma eat more probably, or like there's because you're associated with food items, right? The hot sauce, mm -hmm. the Valentina. Mm -hmm. um, I know I love to eat, so I think I don't know if that like helps uh, influence, but I think it's also it's a way. I think food is a gateway into the you know kind of dominant cultures uh, gateway into Mexican lifestyle a lot of times it's the food you know and I think it's it's an easy way for Emma to hold on to her her past and her childhood and, and especially when she's back without in the neighborhood. being so big about being it, right? so yeah mm -hmm. and, but you know and it's one of those things too that like when you then you're back in your neighborhood and you're eating that taco that you ate mm -hmm. every day from like when you were like 6 to 14 15 and you know you can't like hold back or like the orejitas like all of those little things you know you see her really falling into it and and um, I think it's a beautiful thing because it's a big part of our, our Latin culture. It's just the food is sitting around the table and eating the flan. Yeah, I, I want it all. Well, gracias for talking to LA Taco. Yes, yes. thank, thank you, you for talking to us. us. So Make sure y'all talk about season two. Yes. It's available now. Tell everybody and their mama to watch it and get ready for season three. Yeah, congratulations on season three. We'll be right there watching with you all.